welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna show you how to make a Tinkerbell shoes since Halloween is coming um, I was going to make that for my my little girl so you get an old shoe um, any old shoe you see then it even doesn't have a color a scissor a brush two pom-poms um, I found that on Michaels um, a glue e6000 glue any type of acrylic paint green and um, much patch and glitter that's how we're gonna do it I know I'm cutting uh, Michael Kors shoes they got as a present when they're little and now doesn't have even the color anymore because they use so much but you can use any type of shoe don't scream at me because I'm killing the shoes I know they're already you know very bad and I'm just cutting out um, every single detail that the shoe have because we don't want that but if you have a clean shoe it's fine and now with the green we're gonna cover the whole shoe I'm using the sour apple from Americana if you want to um, use the same color you can find any craft store and I'm just gonna go over I didn't do anything um, I'm gonna go over but the shoe already kind of lost all the color and them you know that wax then comes on the shoe so if you're having a little trouble to this glue um, to the paint to stick on it just give a little sand get a sandpaper and just scratch a little you know but my this they you know they killed the shoe I'm gonna make Tinkerbell and I'm gonna make also Cinderella because that's the two um, girls customs that I need to make here for this Halloween so um, we're gonna start Tinkerbell since we had the Tinkerbell cake last week I decided just to put this one so I'm just covering um, the whole shoe I went to the second one just because you know you give a little time to dry and if you think it's not green enough you can do it uh, um, and give another layer but don't worry too much because we're gonna put all the glitter on the top so it's gonna cover anything so I'm just going over everything and here we go I know the nice that I was going to up, upload a um, Halloween video this week. I'm sorry, I didn't. I have two ba sick babies here <laughs> at home, and they, they are made, but they're not edited yet. So I had this one ready, so that's why I'm doing it. I know it's a Tinkerbell again. I'm sorry, but I promise I will upload this weekend or Monday um, some Halloween one. This is Halloween too, since I'm making her costume. So kind of Halloween-ish if you want to make a little one so now we're gonna use the Mod Podge you can use um, glue but this one really holds um, the glitter on the top you need to open <laughs> mine wasn't open because I use so much and now we clean the brush and we're gonna go over it don't put in all over your shoe and then start putting the glitter because it's gonna dry um, it doesn't dry too fast but you want really the glitter to stick on on the shoe so I'm just gonna go over to the front of the shoe be careful to don't get a sole because you don't want glitter there and then I'm gonna go um, on the top and put the glitter on I always put a dish underneath so I can recover you know all the glitter then and, and to protect my table to don't you know fly glitter all over and other than it, it will I had glitter on my hands everywhere so we're just gonna place the glitter right there shake it shake it shake it and shake it shake it some more I'm also gonna have um, a video on how to make a tiara for Tinkerbell and for Cinderella um, because I'm making for the girls so I decided why not to videotape it and they don't have a really long hair so they need the buns on the top because they want to look like them so I, I created that and it looks really cool so I thought about sharing and that gonna be up soon too I'm gonna try to this week you know too edit everything and I'm also making pumpkins with paper mache that I've never made it before and it's looking really cool because I want to do the whole decoration outside so if you guys want to learn that too I found a really easy recipe a really easy way to make it just let me know leave it uh, give a like or leave a comment below because I can show you guys how to do it because I want to use a lot of pumpkins and I don't want to spend a lot of money buying a hundred pumpkins you know I want to I, so it's just paper and glue and things like that so it's way cheaper to make them and you can carve them as well because it's just paper so let me know if you guys want to see that or any other 
you know, special thing that you want to do, um, make for decoration of Halloween in your house and you don't know how or, you know, if you want to see a video, just let me know too. And um, also, I'm sorry um, about my last video. I think the part two for Tinkerbell was really low. Uh, the audio, I don't know what happened because I used the same um, microphone, the same everything, and I don't know what happened. I will try to edit again to do that so you guys can hear me, <laughs> but um, I think this one you guys can hear me. I don't know if I'm yelling now because I put the microphone very loud. I hope I'm not yelling, like going crazy now. So now I'm just going, I glue all the, the shoe, uh, all the glitter and I let it dry. And now I'm going over with the Mod Patch, just over everything. I'm not going to put more glitter. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just covering the whole thing so it protects and keeps the glitter white on the shoe. So then they can use and reuse and it's not going to fall apart and really glues in there. And don't worry, it's not going to be white. It's going to be clear when it dries and um, it looks really pretty and don't lose the shine or anything because I was worried if the, gl the glitter was going to lose the shine because once I use it and it kind of wasn't shiny the way it was before. I don't remember what I was making, but um, I was worried about the glitter on the shoe. But no, you guys going to see it. You can see it in the beginning of the video and you're going to see right now when it's dry. looks pretty cool and it's too shiny. And she has been using, even though it's not Halloween yet, she's walking the shoes all over the place. And they still really good. And I was going to sh throw the shoe on the trash anyway because it was so, you know, scratched and, and not didn't have any color. So why not? You know, we recycle. They have fun. They love because it's Tinkerbell. And she can use for her costume. And it's a shoe that is not going to hurt her feet when she's walking outside and buy a new shoe. You know, all those plastic costume shoes that you buy and they're you not know, really good quality. And they go trick and tree and they hurt the feet and they cry. And then you need to carry them and they, you know, the chocolate. And, and it's like, ugh, no, that's a nightmare. That's a nightmare. Halloween nightmare. <laughs> But this one, she's used to it. It's not going to hurt her. And you can recycle. So I hope um, you guys can find some old shoes there. And if you have a little girl that wants to be a Tinkerbell, even if it's not for Halloween, you're going to throw the shoe on the trash. Why not to make like that so they can play around the house? You know, it's very cute. So now they, they are dry. They're completely dry. And you can see them. They're still shiny and pretty. See there, I put my hand on there before it's totally dry. Because I was getting away from her. Kaylee was like going crazy. So she touched it. But I don't worry about it. Because I'm going to glue the pump on there. If you're not going to glue the pump on there. Or you cannot hide. It just put a start, put another layer in the Mod Page. And a little bit more glitter. And then you can, you know, fix it. I just wanted to show it the mistakes. So if you know, if it happens, you know how to fix it. And now I'm just putting the glue on. And the little pump on. I found this pump on at Michael's. Um, it's not expensive. I think I paid two dollars for three, and if you have the the coupons, it's even cheaper. And I hope you guys like it. I, uh, let me know if you guys want to learn anything for Halloween, and if you want to see the Tiara's video shoe. And that's it. The shoe is ready, and they can use it, and they're gonna love it, and it's gonna shine. And I'm happy with the results. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And leave a comment below. Um, let me know if you want to make it. And if you make it, just send me a picture. Thank you so much, guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.